Good Sunday afternoon, everybody out there in YouTube land. It's your old buddy Jim, and as you can hear the twinkle toes behind me, little Rosie. Uh, today is Sunday, and it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Uh, wasn't going to make a video today, but figured I would anyway, because uh got nothing else to do. Uh, took the kids to church this morning. Had a good time. Good church service. And then uh, we wanted to try a new restaurant that opened up in town. Uh, there was a restaurant there for years and it closed down and somebody opened it back up. And we went and they were slammed so it took us about an hour to get our food. So uh, leaving, we were in the parking lot and there was cars parked on the street where we had to turn out and it was real hard to see and i saw the truck go by and let him go by before i tried to pull out but i didn't see the little ford escape behind him so I pulled right out in front of him and got rammed so it was my fault nobody was hurt the boys were all right they were a little nervous but nobody was injured the fellow driving the other car wasn't injured he's a real nice guy so now I gotta try to figure out how to, how to get the car towed tomorrow and stuff, so I'm gonna have to burn a vacation day to take care of some stuff. So I'm a little agitated, mainly at myself, but I am grateful that nobody was hurt. Uh, he wasn't going fast enough to, uh, to even deploy his airbag, but it bowed my front tire on my driver's side end, so I barely got it out of the road and into a parking spot. So I'll take care of that tomorrow. Could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. So glad he he was actually slowing down to turn, which is why I probably didn't see him at the neck the red light, which was about a 50 yards on up the street. So oh well, it happens. So as far as prepping goes this weekend, uh, I did some small projects and stuff, just tidying up and organizing. I really didn't uh, make any purchases at the grocery store, uh, prepping related items. Well, a few extra canned goods that I always pick up when I go to the store. So nothing major. I uh, hope you guys got to do a little prepping. I hadn't really paid attention much to the news. I saw where uh, that wacko judge up in New York is going to find Trump $350 million and his kids. So. Uh, now the truck drivers are pissed and saying they're not going to deliver stuff to New York. Sounds reasonable to me. If you don't want to go there, don't. I have no desire to go to New York to stay. And I know uh, one of my favorite prepping channels is Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. And I don't see how they live there. I have no desire to visit New York. I always wanted to when I was young, but anymore, couldn't pay me to set foot in that state. So we'll see what happens with that. I know uh, they're building a military forward operating base down on the border in Eagle Pass. And they're still fighting in the Middle East. No surprise. Uh, Ukraine has surrendered. And I can't pronounce the city that they uh, gave up. And uh, the Russians are now in full control of it. Things are not going well there. War still raging in the Middle East. Nukes in space, pigs in space, space cowboys. Wobble, wobble, wobble. So, um, <clears throat> China's still flying balloons and stuff over Taiwan and planes and bombers and going through their airspace. North Korea is still threatening everybody. So, we live in historical, exciting times. And it's going to keep getting worse and worse, I'm afraid. So uh, one of the preps that people don't talk about, and I've talked about it before, and I've made a lot of videos on here, but the least views I ever had on a video was, and I'm not a minister, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a Bible thumper. I am a Christian. I go to church when I can. Not as often as I should, but I have to work two Sundays a month. So that's neither here nor there, but... Uh, Lowest views I've ever had on a video was one called spiritual awareness or uh, spiritual preparedness. 
So if you're a prepper and you've got everything to survive that you can think of, well, there's one thing you're forgetting if you're not a Christian, and that's uh, your eternal soul. So you might want to think about that. That's just my advice. You don't have to. That's completely up to you. We're all adults. But it's very important to me. And I know I get mad and say bad words. And I have been known to drink a few cold beers. But I still consider myself a Christian. First and foremost. So I'll answer for, for what I've done in this life. And you'll answer for what you are. And have done. So that's it for today. I'm just grateful that uh, nobody was hurt. The gentleman that... I had the accident with was okay i did get the ticket even though the cop said they shouldn't be allowed to park on the street or the policeman said and i agreed with him but since it's legal um sort of like playing frogger i guess when you're trying to turn out of that restaurant which probably will deter me from going back to that restaurant the food was good but it ain't worth what i'm going to end up paying for it so i hope y'all had a great weekend i hope you did some prepping stuff if you were so inclined I hope you spent it with family and friends. I spent it with this nutty dog and my boys. Uh, my ex actually came and picked us up because I didn't have a way to get us back home. So uh, that's it for today. Always something. So I hope you have a great week ahead. And uh, y'all take care. Stay safe. Let's go Vols. Let's go Brandon. FJB. Don't be scared. Be prepared. And let's close the damn border. We're being invaded in record numbers. Middle-aged people from every country on the face of the earth is walking in here. And I don't think they're walking in here with good intentions. And uh, God bless America. Y'all have a great week.